work is now in full swing on a long-awaited multi-year project to address capacity and safety issues on the heavily traveled YO-22 corridor between Jackson and Wilson. Crews have spent the summer preparing abutments for the first half of a new, wider bridge over the Snake River. By uh, spring of 24, we should have half of the bridge in place. Uh, we'll, we'll move traffic over to that first half of a bridge, and then we'll start tearing down the old bridge and building up the other half in its place. Work is also underway to widen the road in preparation for reconstructing the nearby YO-22-390 intersection. The new design will allow eastbound traffic to flow freely, which will increase capacity and reduce congestion. The signal has really uh, not functioned well uh, during the summer due to the high traffic volumes. Uh, for really five or eight years, it's been uh, a, a, an impedance to traffic. And when we're done, we'll be able to handle traffic successfully through that intersection for the next 20 or 30 years. It's a big project in tight quarters with the added challenge of performing construction work without stopping traffic flow on the busiest two-lane highway in the state. We've maintained two-way traffic 24 hours a day uninterrupted. It still gets bottlenecked a little bit because people want to see what's going on and they slow down to turn their head and see what's going on. But uh, we're keeping traffic moving as best as we can. We know that we don't want to stop traffic. The bridge, intersection, pedestrian, and wildlife underpasses are all scheduled to be completed in 2025. Reminding you to slow down in work zones and always buckle up. This is Doug McGee reporting.